Hi, I'm Anne Marie Williams and I'm here to give you some tips on painting. In the first two segments, I did the sky and the water with a little spit of land going out and some trees on it. What I wanna do next is I wanna put in a couple of nice palm trees. It's very Florida, it's a sunset scene. And I'm using white, blue, black, crimson, two browns, a green, and two yellows. I have a two inch brush, a one inch brush, a fan brush, a knife, and a little skinny script liner brush. What I wanna do is I wanna take my fan brush and I'm gonna stick in a nice little palm tree right in here. It's gonna come right across like this, come whipping out up here. Palm trees are so much fun to do. Everyone thinks they're so hard, but you'll be amazed at how easy it is. You always want to thicken out the base, though. Don't leave just a skinny all the way down. The palm trees have a pretty hefty root system, but it's not deep, it's not wide, it's just right there at the bottom. And then we'll put another little small one here. I hate to cover up my beautiful sky, but we'll just stick them right there. Gulf of Mexico is so beautiful and the sunsets and sunrises are just incredible with the colors. All right, that's good. We can always thicken out his base a little when we put him into the sand. I like to highlight before I put the leaves in because it's easier. I take my knife, put a very thin roll of, of white on there or a soft color white and I just touch the one side just a little bit, coming down. This is, the palm trees always have kind of a rounded um, curve to the body. So once we put the little white on, we're going to take the brush and just go around just a little bit sideways. Here we go. You can put a little black in. You can do lots of fun things with it. I just think the brown and the little bit of white is very good. Now the next part, we're going to put the fawns in branches. Branches are pretty dark green. And I wet my brush just a little bit so that it won't be so dry. I come to the top of the tree and I come off and just put a little line over and then I pull the fawns right out. So simple. Everyone thinks it's gonna be really hard but once they try it, it's like, whoa, look at how good this is. We'll do another one down here. I uh, need a little bit more paint than that. Like I said, it's so forgiving. No matter what you do, you can just get in here and just have a lot of fun with it. I haven't did one of these in my big screen room right up on the wall. It was a lot of fun to do too. Everybody comes in and appreciates the nice fresh palm trees right there on our porch. You can highlight them with a little bit of yellow at the tips. I just have to be careful not to make it look like a complete windmill because I do have a tendency to make everything spaced the same distance. So I get in here and put one a little closer just so it changes it up a little bit. And if it's a really windy day, you can have them all bent back the other way. And then down, there's a couple hanging down here. I like to do them in a little bit of a brownish golden yellow. It's called yellow okra. Gives the effect of it being already dead, but that's okay. And we'll do this other small one. Oops, a little goober of paint there, no problem. Just go over it, don't be afraid. Branches are really quite simple. I, you don't even have to do that long stroke up, but I like to just because it gives me the line to follow. This one has one straight up. 
Just change them a little. See, I don't work very hard at them and they just come out beautiful. So don't be afraid. Couple hanging down now. See how simple that was? Nice and easy. Don't be afraid to get in there. What I like to do is get the base of the tree and just kind of pull it out a little bit. There's a little shadow coming this way, so we'll pull it a little bit of the tan out. Nice quiet beach. Whoops. Here we go. Went up a little bit too high. No problem, I just fixed it. There's some um, little debris on the beach. You can stick in a couple of little soft uh, feathery sprigs of grass in here. And uh, kind of finishes it off a bit right in front of the palm tree. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching. This was a really good picture, a lot of fun to paint. Thanks for joining me. This is uh, Tips on Painting. Have a good day and happy painting.